Hi friends, this is Jennifer from Decor Sauce, and today I'm going to be launching a few different videos with several tips on how to maximize the space that you already have in your home now. Some of these tips are great for homeowners, they're also good for renters. Some of the things I'm going to tell you can be easily undone if you don't own your home. But they're all tips for maximizing the space that you live in without spending a lot of money or having astronomical remodeling costs associated with it. So. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some tips, things that I've done in my own home to maximize my space, and then after that I'm going to show you some before and after examples of the things that I've done. The first space I'm going to focus on in this video series of how to maximize your space is your bathroom. So I think most people can relate to having a bathroom that is small or just not functional or could just use some more storage space and has the available, available space to do so. so this video today is going to be all about bathrooms. Tip number one, paint the walls a light to neutral color. Dark colors can be really sexy and dramatic, but they also show a lot of dirt from toilet paper and, and your towels. So choose a light to neutral color to maximize your space or the illusion of your space. Tip number two, hang your shower curtain rod as high as you possibly can to the ceiling. This not only creates the illusion of space, but it also makes for a really comfortable shower experience because it just feels roomier when you're inside. I purchased a double rod shower curtain um, rod on Amazon for $40. So for $40, I was able to hang my shower curtain as close to the ceiling as possible, creating the, not only the illusion of space, but also giving a more roomy shower experience. Tip number three, remove your terrible builder grade towel bar and replace it with hooks. I know it's kind of counterintuitive to the if it ain't broke, don't fix it philosophy. However, I will tell you there is no surefire way to get a towel to land on the floor other than having a towel bar there to catch it. If you have hooks, people will naturally gravitate to the hooks and use the hooks instead of the floor for their towels. Also, it's really nice to your guests to give them a hook to place their clothes on when they're changing in your bathroom versus putting it on your floor, your toilet, or your counter. The guests just do not want to do that. Tip number four, and this is my favorite tip of all, add vertical storage. Most bathrooms have some place in them where you can add shelving as a catch-all for makeup or to add extra towels or store extra toilet paper so that your guests don't have to holler down to you when they're using the bathroom in an embarrassing way because they're out, they've run out of toilet paper. This way, it's all behind them, easy for them to find and replace it themselves. They do not have to disturb you or embarrass themselves for calling out to you for extra supplies that are right there where they can see them. So that's the first four tips. Any of those would work really fast and cheaply to update your existing space. If you wanna go even farther, then my next tips would be to replace your light fixture with something nicer than builder grade and also maybe take away the glued on builder grade mirror and or frame out your current mirror with a nice frame. If you decide to take it off the wall, it's really easy and only costs about $30 to replace the mirror with something new and framed from a store like Target or even Ross if you have them. So remove the mirror, replace the light fixture. If you want to even go further than that, my next tip would be to update or consider updating your bathroom cabinet with paint or perhaps gel stain. I know that I've used General Finishes gel stain in two out of the three of my bathrooms. I've loved it. For the bathroom I'm gonna show you next, I'm actually gonna use the General Finishes Milk Paint in Seagull Gray to refinish that cabinet. So stay tuned for that video. That one's not happened yet, but it will in the future. And then finally, the last tip that I have to update and maximize your storage space is to, this one's just for updating, is to redo your bathroom floor. Now there's lots of ways that you can redo it with contractors and all that, but if you're handy and you can do it yourself, there's really two great options that don't cost a lot of money. Number one is take your vinyl that's already there and just put a layer of paint on it. I know it sounds crazy, but I did it in my master bathroom and it's lasted now for three years without any scuffs or bad marks. It looks great still. Cost me about $30 to redo it. I used an outdoor um, or an all weather really nasty oil-based paint, which is really strong and smells chemically when it's going down, but it's really lasted like no other and I would do it again a hundred times. If you 
don't like that option, if that doesn't appeal to you, which I totally understand, I get it, then you can consider laying your own interlocking vinyl tile. That's a really good option because it doesn't require any construction. You can oftentimes lay it over your existing floor and it only costs about two to three dollars per square foot, depending on if you're handy and you can do it yourself. So that really concludes some of my best tips for quickly, cost-effectively upgrading and creating storage space in the place you already live in. So I hope that helps you. Now I'm going to show you some of my before and afters.